day students, welcome to Science 9 where you can learn science in fun and easy way. For today's lesson, you will learn about the patterns formed from a group of stars. This will cover our most essential learning competency, which is show which constellation may be observed at different times of the year using models. Specifically, you will learn the following objectives. First, define constellation. Second, identify what constellations will be visible on different parts of the year. And lastly, correlate the relationship between the visible constellations in the sky and the Earth's position along its orbit. Before we begin, make sure you have your pen, paper, and self-learning module with you so that you can write all the things that you will learn from today's lesson. Now, to test your prior knowledge about the topic, please answer the pretest in your module. <music> Students, did you ever try stargazing? Did you ever notice the patterns of stars at night? I even know some stories behind this. Do you want to hear the story of my favorite constellation? Let's hear this. The story of constellation Cassiopeia Long, long ago, in a kingdom called Ethiopia, King Cepheus and Queen Cassiopeia ruled happily along with their daughter, Princess Andromeda. Cassiopeia was very beautiful, but also very arrogant and vain. It was these latter two characteristics that led to her downfall. She thought that she was better than other people. One day, Look at my daughter. Look at us. Who can be more divine than our face? More beautiful than all the daughters of Nereus. Nereus is a companion to Poseidon, god of the sea. When he learns of Cassiopeia's words, he is extremely angry. How oh, dare she insulted my daughters, who were all very beautiful. I must tell Poseidon. He will know how to punish her. Nereus goes to see Poseidon and inform him of Cassiopeia's actions. Poseidon, god of the sea, there's something urgent you must know. I heard that Cassiopeia, the queen of Ethiopia, is boasting about her and her daughter Andromeda's beauty, claiming they are far more beautiful than all my daughters. How dare she commit such an act? She must be punished. No one shall offend a companion of the almighty god of the sea. Yes, I agree and that's exactly why I came to you. What do you think her punishment should be? Well, I need some time to ponder. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. After much thought, Poseidon decides that the best way to hurt Cassiopeia would be to kill the one she loves the most, her daughter Andromeda. He sends floods in a sea of sea monster called Cetus to destroy Cassiopeia's land. In despair, King Cepheus consulted an oracle to prevent the destruction of his reign. My queen, what should we do? Of course I love Andromeda with all my heart and I care for her. But until the end, 
I must remain loyal to my people whom I promised to provide as long as I am their king. My king, why are you so indecisive? There is only one option here according to the oracle we consulted. We both know what it is. It was decided. Andromeda would be sacrificed. During a dark stormy night, while Andromeda was sleeping, the king chained her to a rock at the sea's edge and left to be killed by the sea monster. Please save me! Help! What a waste if a beautiful lady like her will die. I must save her. Learning of Andromeda's story, he offered to rescue her if her parents agreed to let him marry their daughter. My king and queen, I am willing to save your daughter with the condition that you will let me marry her. Perseus killed the sea monster and married Andromeda. And happy that Cassiopeia was not punished, Poseidon tied her to a chair in the heavens so that she would revolve upside down half of the time. That is how the constellation took its name, resembling the torture chair that was used for Cassiopeia's punishment for her pride. Lesson learned. The story taught us not to boast. We just need to remain humble. What is constellation? A constellation is a group of bright stars that appears to form a pattern. They may appear close to each other, but they are actually light years apart. This group of stars form imaginary patterns like mythical heroes, deities, objects, and animals. There are known 88 constellations in the night sky, and 48 of them are recognized by astronomers were named based on Greeks and Roman mythology. But nearly all cultures have different names for the constellations. For example, the Greeks called the constellation Orion, which means hunter, which is prominent in the night sky all over the world during winter. Early Filipinos visualized the same group of stars as Malatik, a trap used for hunting wild pigs. Some of the constellations can be seen only from the Northern Hemisphere or the Southern Hemisphere. The part of the sky visible at night at the particular place gradually changes as the seasons change. It means you can see different constellations in different parts of the year. Some constellations in September. Pieces. Aquarius, Capricornus, Aries, Taurus. Some constellations in March. Botus, Cancer, Crater, Hydra, Leo, Virgo. Some constellations in June. Aquila, Cygnus, Hercules, Lyra, Ophiuchus, Sagittarius, and Scorpius. In some constellations in December, Canis Major, Cetus, Eridanus, Gemini, Perseus, Taurus, and Orion. constellations change in position. The constellations appears to change position in the sky from east to west or westward. This is because of the eastward or counterclockwise position or motion of the earth around the sun. While the rotation of the earth on its axis 
causes the opponent lightly movement of the stars across the sky. The revolution is responsible for the fact that we can see different parts of the sky at different parts of the year. That is why the set of constellations that a person can see changes as the season change. Uses of constellation Navigation The Polaris or the North Star the Polaris, which is known as the North Star, appears as the brightest star in the constellation Orsa Minor, is widely used in the navigation because it doesn't change its position at any time of the night or year. One can figure out his or her latitude just by looking at the, how Polaris appears in the night sky. This allows sailors to find their way across the seas. Remember, we define constellation as a group of bright stars that appears to form a pattern. We also identify constellations visible parts of the year. Lastly, we learn that we can see different constellations in different parts of the year because of the Earth's revolution around the Sun. Let us assess. Please turn to your module and answer assessment. Way to go! Please turn to your module and answer honestly the activities. That's it! I hope you have learned something new today. Thanks for listening and happy learning!